Hi, hello again. So, in this video, what we will do, we will do the factorial of a number. Um, actually, I was, I was, I was uh, preparing another video, but I did add, I didn't add enough time to to uh, finish that because I want to prepare the video. So I decided to improvise and make this one. Um, so let's go to the main goal of this video, that is uh, doing the factorial. If you don't know what is the factorial, the factorial is just this. We have a number, in this case is 4, and then the exclamation mark. And in math, this is equals to 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Also, we have uh, two special rules, that is for the number 1, the factorial is 1, and for the number 0, the factorial, the factorial is also 1, okay? The final, final rule here is we cannot have... Uh, also, we cannot do uh, the factorial for negative numbers, okay? exclamation mark okay so let's start let's start doing this I will do three functions so we will do the factorial in three ways and um, the first one let's define here factorial factorial underscore for loop so the first one is using a for loop we will receive a number okay and for now let me just return let me copy this part Let's do the boring part of the code. So the next, uh, the the second function will be f using a while loop, and the third is using recursion. So recursive. Okay. And also, let me define here a number that is equals to four. Okay. And and by the way, let's put here the prints. Let's put here the prints because they are very boring to do. Uh, print, let's print the name of the function and then the number uh, followed by uh, exclamation mark and it is equals to it is equals to the function providing the number. So we will call the function here and let me copy this part, paste here, paste here, and copy this, paste here, paste here, and copy, copy this part, and paste here, and paste here. So, the boring part is done. <laughs> we are ready to do the, our code. So, um, the for loop, the for loop. Um, so, the first thing that we want to do is declare a result that is equals to 1 and then we want to return the result okay in the middle we will do the magic we will do the magic so what we want to do is um, this okay but since it is um, we are multiplying it doesn't matter if we do 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 or 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 okay so knowing that we can do here for n in range, okay? Starting when? Starting at one, and and uh, ending at number plus one. Why plus one? Remember, ranges are exclusive here, okay? So we must add one. And then inside of the loop, what we will do? Result is equals to result times n, the number n. And that's it. If we receive here and the number 4, it goes here, is 1, the result, it will go to uh, 5, so 1, 2, 5, but it will exclude the 5 and it will do 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 and then return the result. Um, if it is 0, it goes here, it goes here, is 1, is okay. 
and then goes here well one is bigger than zero so this for loop will not run and it will will return the number one if it is the number one is already one goes here one two one yes one two one is nothing so it will not execute this is okay and what is not okay is this condition uh, is this condition so we must go here and say well if the number if the number if the number is higher or equals to zero we can do this uh, this calculation and by the way let's say that the result is equals to this string so if the number is negative it goes here is the result is these and then goes here so uh, a negative number is not higher or equals than zero so this block of code will not be executed and it will return this message okay otherwise it will enter and it will do the things that we already know uh, another thing that we can do here is well science um, multiplying one multiplying these okay these by one is always the the same result okay so we can start at two instead of doing uh, so we are not doing a cycle because we already know that it will not um, it will not do the uh, a difference okay so this is the for loop version and now let's do let's do the while loop version let me go here and let me paste because the code is very similar the difference the difference is well we will not use a for loop we will use a while loop so while number is higher than zero what we want to do we want to do result um, equals to result times what the number so in the case of the for loop let me finish this part <laughs> let me finish this part sorry um, so uh, if we just do this it will run forever because the number will be always higher than zero so we must update the number so number uh, is equals to number minus one by the way, I, I didn't say to you, you can do actually these in another way. Result is equals to, result is times equals to the number, okay? And this part is the same as doing number, um, number minus equals one, okay? Just that. Um, oh, the thing that I, I was trying to say um, in the while loop we are taking the number and we are doing the, the count like 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 and in the for loop we are doing the reverse we are doing 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 since this is a multiplication it doesn't matter the, the order okay there is no problem but uh, if you need to do the reverse order is just uh, assigning here a different range okay um, what more what more um, so this is this is it for the while for the while now let's do the most difficult for most people the recursive well the re recursion what is recursion recursion is when we call uh, when inside of a function we call the function itself okay so if I do factorial recursive here number providing the number I'm I am calling the function so this will create a loop uh, what we want to do we want to return actually we want to return 
the factorial underscore recursive passing the number minus 1 and then after getting the result of this after getting the result of this we want to multiply by the number that we receive as a parameter this is confusing because these have the same names yeah but um, it's like Inception it's like the movie Inception um, there is something that we are missing here and this is very very important uh, when we use recursion we must specify a condition for it to stop okay because this will run forever uh, I will call this here okay passing the number 4 uh, it goes here passes here the number 3 and here we have the number 4 so it goes here with the number 3 it goes here it will pass the number 2 okay and here we will have the number 3 and then it goes here number 2 it passes here the number 1 we have here the number 2 it goes here with the number 1 it pass goes here uh, 1 minus 0 uh, minus 1 sorry <laughs> uh, is 0 and then here we have the number 1 and then it goes here again with the number 0 and then it will be minus 1 and it will go forever and ever and ever and so we must specify here that if the number is 0 if the number is 0 we want to return without calling the function again this is the condition to stop a recursive um, function or methods okay so we want to return what one the number one okay okay um, we are uh, we are doing everything of course you can you can um, make here this condition okay if it is one okay uh, but I will not do that here what I want to do here that is missing is the message when we provide the number below zero and what we want to return we want to return the message and the message is this one okay let me copy paste here okay paste here so uh, it's okay so when the number is below zero it will automatically return when the number is zero it will return one and in the other scenarios it will call the function again providing the number minus one okay until it reaches the number zero and goes back like like in the movie inception okay you is the idea is pretty much the same okay it will go back and the things that happens in the dreams will will appear here in the next level okay um, so that's that's it so let's test the thing and we have here by by program let's run and for the factorial of 4 we get 24 in the three methods let's pass here the number one what we get we get number one to all the three zero is one like in the rules okay and if we pass here uh, minus 12 sorry we sorry sorry uh, pass here the number 12 we get we cannot do the factorial of uh, for a negative number okay um, this is it um, I said in, in the beginning of this video that I am preparing another another video and this is it we I am doing a calculator let me show you pi uh, calculator okay let's run this and we get this very very cool right 
6 times 3 is equals to 18 and then we can clear it, this is a simple calculator um, I yeah this is a simple calculator and I will not uh, it, it will not be perfect of course um, I, I already have the code but I have to figure uh, how to explain this in a simple way because I was uh, seeing and uh, this is a calculator of 251 lines of code um, and just to do the, the interface it will take like 40 minutes I guess so I have to plan these uh, very well um, and I, I believe that I if everything goes well I will publish this in the next Sunday so this is it this is it <laughs> I will not show more um, um, hope that you learned something from from this video um, I want to ask you to leave the like to share with your friends the video to leave a comment to uh, if you are not subscribed please subscribe if you are already subscribed don't forget to hit the bell button because if you don't have that bell button active when I publish a video we will you will not be uh, notified by by YouTube so um, that's it I I hope that you learned something from these and as always thank you for watching bye